Bodie here from bodydavison.com and in today's video I've got another placeit tutorial for you where I'm going to explain what my placeit is and how you actually use that. So you can go back to everything that you've ever edited, save it in folders, etc. I'm going to show you how to do it. So if you like this content, please hit subscribe, please like the video for me, it really helps me out and let's get into this placeit tutorial. So here we are on the main screen of placeit and we can just go up and you can see right here is my place it but if we click down on this you can see that there's a my folders section and this is what i want to show you guys today really good way to use place it so here is a couple of the folders that i've just made up for this video and we'll come up here and just click on my place it i want to show you this so as you can see edited things here favorites things here and then folders down here. Now the reason that the folders come in handy is like you could have something about social media posts, you could have a cat design section, you could have a music section, you could have one that's about your shop, so everything that you're selling is in one section. It's just a really good way to organize your place in instead of being all over the place with it. So let's have a look at how you would save things to your folder. So any template you're working on you can save. All right, so let's say we were working on something here, we would just go save to and then you can either go new folder, you might want to create a new folder for it, or if we just go back into that, then we could add it to one of the ones we already have. So let's just put it in social media posts and then just go save. And if we go back to my place it, you can see that it's now in the social media posts folder. And if you're ever here and want to change one to another folder, just go in, click on the three dots here and you can go move to, you can also duplicate and delete, but we could just go move to and put it in here. Not that that's gonna line up, but just to show you how it's done. So you can also make copies of your different designs. So let's just go back into this one. And the reason this would come in handy is in case you actually want to make it very much the same, but slightly different. So we would just go make a copy up here then we could change whatever it is that we want to change. And again, just go save to whatever you want there, or you might want to download it straight away or share. All right, so next I wanted to show you guys that we can save things for later and then find them in my place it. So if we were just in designs, let's go t-shirt designs, and then we really like the look of something, we can just hit the heart here or here and just save a few of the ones that we really like. And then when we go over to my place it again, you can now see that it's in a my favorite section. So this is really great in case you saw something and you wanna go back to it later, but maybe you're in a hurry and it's just a really good place to have all these things in one spot so that you don't really get lost when you go back onto place it again. It's very easy to get tied up doing something and then forget about something else. But if you save to favorites like this, this is an Instagram story video that we could go back to later now that we know that we have it and then we could edit it and make up our Instagram story. All right, next up, let's say we were working on something and we accidentally crossed out the window and we feel like we've lost it. Well, what you can do with my place it is just get rid of that, go back to my place it and you can see that there is the recently edited section here and you can go see all to see them all. And then you can click on it and go straight back in and pick up where you left off. Really, really good feature. So that basically covers it for what my place it can do for you in this place it tutorial. This is really handy because if you didn't save your work and crossed out the window, you can go back and it'll pick up where you left off. So really, really handy. This is great for you know, you're scrolling through, you're doing something else, and then you see different things that you want to work with later. So you can come back to these. And then these folders are awesome as well. So like I said, you can have it split up into social media posts, cat designs, music designs. You could have one for your shop. So everything that you're going to have on, let's say your Teespring shop or whatever can be in here. And then all different ones. You could have a retro one, you could have a horror one. You can have all of them split up so that it's easy to find and you can continue to work on those different themes that you're working on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give the video a like for me. Comment down below any questions that you have and make sure you hit subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.